Chiefs Kingdom, what's going on? You're watching the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Andrews, and on today's show, we've got two pretty important topics because the Chiefs could be moving to Dallas. Well, a recent sales vote made it to where the Chiefs lease, well, it's up in 2030. Could they potentially be heading to the Lone Star State? We'll tell you about that, along with the latest news on Rasheed Rice as his lawyers made statements today. We'll tell you about all that and the important moments that happened. Let's first start, though, with this, because this is the start to the Chiefs potentially leaving Kansas City. KMBC says the stadium tax is going down to defeat. Latest KMB Soto, no, 58%, yes, 42%. Now, if you're kind of confused here, you're thinking, what in the world is stadium tax? What are you thinking about? Long story short, the Chiefs could move. Basically, what this is about, it was a sales tax vote for the people of Jackson County, where if they voted yes, it'd be a 3 8 cent sales tax, and that would help the Kansas City Royals get their new stadium and it would have upgrades coming for Arrowhead Stadium. Instead, well, they could potentially both move. The sale tax vote obviously would be for helping Arrowhead make sure the Chiefs stayed in, stayed in Kansas City. But now, their lease with Truman Sports Complex, which is Arrowhead Stadium, is up in 2030. And this is where Dallas comes in, because at the bottom of that, you see, Dallas mayor spoke about them moving back to Dallas. I say back because, well, the Dallas Texans, originally one of the Chiefs back in 1952, played here and now. Could they be potentially returning to Dallas? Well, the mayor kind of thinks so, and we will have to see. Uh, I have to tell you this, though. Not exactly the greatest scenario if you love where Arrowhead is right now, because at worst, I'm probably thinking... That Arrowhead Stadium will not be Arrowhead Stadium within the next eight years. By 2030, it will be somewhere else. And so, make your voice heard in the comments. I mean, obviously, this is a big debate, a big issue with some people. And so, what do you think? Do you want the Chiefs to stay in Kansas City? Well, then type KC, and hopefully we see a lot of those. If you want them to move to Dallas, if you're one of those people, you would like them to be in Dallas, go ahead, type D. I'm... Kind of want to get a panel here on Chiefs Kingdom. Obviously, I'm expecting a lot of KCs, but we will have to wait and see. Get down in the comment section. Type KC for Kansas City. Type D for Dallas. Make sure you get your voice heard. Let's talk about this Sports Illustrated article that basically gives us the lowdown. So they say this. On Tuesday night, voters in Jackson County, Missouri, struck down a sales tax proposal that would have helped fund major renovations to Arrowhead Stadium as well as a new ballpark for MLB's Kansas City Royals. The Chiefs, who had committed $300 million in private money to the renovations, were hoping to use public funding to help support the $800 million project. So... Will the Chiefs want to stay after this? Because $300 million up $800 million is still a decent amount, but that leaves $400 million there, quick math, to figure out what exactly to do with the rest of the money for the renovations. Would they want to stay without them? We have the answer to that. Clark Hunt said this, quote, We would not be willing to sign a lease for another 25 years without the financing to properly renovate and reimagine the stadium. The financing puzzle is very important to us to make sure we have enough funds to do everything we've outlined. Okay, well, this is clear. Why did people say no then? I, he wants the money to help make Arrowhead Stadium better for the people, a better experience for Chiefs fans. Why in the world was this a no vote? What happened? I mean, it's for a good cause, you would have to think, but yet it's not happening. Well, Charles Goldman had, I think, the best report on why exactly it was a no. He said in his most recent article from A to Z Sports, 58% of voters said no on question one, with over 21,000 more voters against the measure than for it. Many considered it a rushed plan with, little too, with too little transparency about the process from both clubs. All right, so we have all this, but how in the world does Dallas come to play? The mayor said something, but, but what exactly did he say? I mean, it's not like he straight up said, oh, I want them to be in there, I want this. Well, <laughs> he actually kind of did, and we can kind of tell you basically what he said here in just a moment. But before that, 
Got to tell you about one of our amazing sponsors, and that is Prize Picks. You can go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a $100 deposit match. Prize Picks is the best way to play daily fantasy sports with thousands of different stat type sports. They've got everything you could want when playing DFS. Plus, it's the largest DFS app in North America. Super simple to play as well. You choose two or more players, pick more or less on the Prize Picks projected stats. And then you choose flex or you choose power play depending on your confidence. Obviously, the hardwood action is very much heating up. The final four this weekend, I'm going to go with some NBA, though, as we're not quite to college basketball being played tonight. Nikola Jokic, 13 rebounds. I'm going to go the more on him. Uh, Charles Goldman, a big Jokic fan, by the way, so I think he would like that pick. DeAndre Hunter, he's got a little bit of a discount. He's usually 16 and a half points. It's 13 and a half points today, so I'm going to go the more there. I mean, you can get that pick right now on prize picks. And then Luka Doncic, 9.5 rebounds. I'm going the more on that. That's a lot. Come on. Come on, against the Hawks, too, the team that didn't want to draft him? Yeah, he's doing everything with that tonight. Once again, you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and using code CLNS, you're going to get that $100 deposit match. I'm telling you, there's no better place to play daily fantasy sports than prizepicks. Get the app and use that code. I guarantee you will not regret it. Daily fantasy sports made easy with prizepicks. Let's talk about Dallas real quick because the Eric, the mayor of Dallas, Eric Johnson, said that Dallas was named the top sports city in the United States because we play to win. As I have said previously, our market is big enough, growing enough, and loves football more than enough to support a second NFL team, especially a franchise and owner with deep roots here. Obviously talking about the Chiefs playing in Dallas in their history as an organization. Well, as you would expect, this kind of made somebody a tad bit cranky. That'd be this guy, Jerry Jones, who, well, is always cranky because the Cowboys can't get past the first round of the NFL playoffs. Jerry Jones had a statement after the mayor saying that you can be rest assured that you would not have the NFL supporting another team because of the kind of value that the game and the NFL receives of having the Dallas Cowboys as one of its marquee teams. And again, logic tells you the NFL wouldn't want to water that down. Are the Dallas Chiefs coming? Well, there's no actual evidence to that. I'm not going to say that. There is a actual quote-unquote from Clark Hunt uh, saying that he wants the Chiefs to come to Dallas. There's not interest there right now. But that's not to say that it can't happen. I fully expect that over the next couple months to years, we're going to figure out more and more what the Chiefs want to do and how exactly this goes. The more likely scenario, they just move to the Kansas side of Kansas City. They get back a little closer, uh, potentially moving the city, moving the stadium even more further into Kansas, and uh, we can kind of go from there if that report does come out. But that's the more likely situation. All right, I know you want to hear about it, so we're going to tell you there's more info on the Rasheed Rice incident. His lawyer today came out, had an official statement, and did confirm some things as well. Let's go with the main thing that we got confirmed. He was the driver of the Lamborghini that did crash. Attorney Royce West says that hashtag Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice was indeed driving the Lamborghini when it crashed last Saturday in Dallas, and he is, quote-unquote, fully cooperating with the police. That's coming from Clayton Holloway. Start off by saying this is not a good thing. Uh, I think I don't need to tell you that, but you obviously know when you're the driver and you get into a hit and run, it's not a good thing. You never have to leave the scene. Leaving the scene is probably the worst decision you can make. But I think that Royce West, uh, Rasheed Rice's lawyer, had a pretty good quote on this and kind of helped us dive a little bit more deep into the situation. Said that, quote, the fact is, you got a 23-year-old young man that's never been in this type of situation before. You will get an opportunity to hear from him, hopefully within the next week. Leaving the scene was a bad move. I, I know that we all can agree upon that. But we also have to see from Rasheed Rice's perspective. I mean, this kid is 23 years old. He has just signed that NFL contract. He had lived all his life with SMU and being in Dallas, being in this area. And now he kind of has a surplus of money and he'd just gotten to something that he shouldn't have been doing and he's gonna have to pay the price for it and he's taking responsibility for it which i think is something that is very clear to see and is a good thing 
in this entire situation. I told you from the beginning, the best thing you can do is come out and say it how it is. Now, Royce West also continued on, and I think he had maybe one of the best quotes talking about the situation and talking about Rasheed Rice and why we should be giving him grace. Quote, why don't you do a story of who he is as opposed to what occurred? Because it seems as though what you're saying is based on this one incident. You're going to define him based on this incident as opposed to his entire body of work? I would say to each and every one of you, if all of us had to be defined by one incident, then that would be ridiculous as opposed to our entire body of work. So I'd ask that you as the media look at his entire body of work before saying exactly who he is. I agree. I, and, and people have spoken up about this as well. People have spoken up in support of Rice saying that this is not the type of person he is. He is not the type of guy to do something like this, but he's young. He's 23 and you make mistakes. That's how life goes. When you're young, you're figuring everything out on your own. And this is kind of the first time he's having to do all this. Former teammate now, New Orleans Saint linebacker Willie Gay Jr. even had a tweet saying, a great person, explicit, we all make mistakes and have to learn from our actions. As a part of growing up, we believe in God's grace, forget what a man, what a man says. Now we just wait for what's next. Obviously, he can get grace from Willie Gay Jr. He can get grace from Patrick Mahomes. He can get grace from his lawyer. He can get grace from everybody in the media and everybody talking about the situation. But it unfortunately doesn't make the situation go away. It doesn't wipe the slate clean. It doesn't seem as though like he's going to be off the hook. That's not what he's expecting. And I truly know that he is sorry for what happened. I don't think that he would ever do something like this. Yet, he did. That's part of life, and that's part of growing up. You make mistakes. And now we just have to wait and see what's next for Rasheed Rice and uh, see if a suspension comes. But he is working really dil diligently and cooperating with Dallas Police Department and trying to make sure that everybody who was affected by this has their lives put back into place as quick as possible, and he wants to make sure to be a part of that. We appreciate you watching. Uh, we will give you updates to the situation and obviously anything going on with the Chiefs, but hopefully we'll be back tomorrow for some football-related news tomorrow. But for now, Chiefs Kingdom, we do appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. For now, though, peace out, and we'll see you next time.